In this video I'm going to be introducing you to the names of the different bits of the circle. So I've got my circle ready, I'm going to just go, going to start drawing bits on it, showing you where things are and what they're called. So we're going to start off by drawing a line straight across through the centre, through the middle point, okay? And this line is known as the diameter. So the diameter is a line that goes from the outer edge of the circle to the other side through the centre. Now halfway of that, so if I draw a line from the centre to the outside and I don't go all the way through, so half of the diameter is known as the radius. And Another name for something is if I go all the way around the outside of the circle, okay, so the total length of the outside, so the perimeter of the circle, that is known as the circumference. So, words like circumnavigate, if you say you're going to circumnavigate the globe, you're going to go all the way around the outside. So, these are three of the most important words to make sure you understand and know as part of the circle. However, there are other words that we need to have in our memory bank. So, another one just goes from one part of the circle to another, but doesn't go through the centre. So this one is known as a chord. So you could say that the diameter is a special type of chord, and it's a type of chord that goes through the centre of the circle. So any other line that doesn't go through the centre is called a chord. Right, I'm going to draw it on the outside of that, because I'm going to need that bit. Let's try and draw it there instead. That's a chord. Now, how about this area here, this kind of slice of the pizza. This is referred to as a sector. So a sector is this area. It's not a length or a line, it's an area. And likewise, we have this part here. Okay, This is known as a segment. And that is this area. So you have the two areas, a sector and a segment. Okay? So be careful you know which is which. Now beforehand we knew that the circumference is going all the way around the outside. If we don't quite make it, and we're just looking at a particular part of the outside of a circle, so let's say just that bit there, then that is known as an arc. So, an arc is any length of the circumference, but not the whole thing. So you could draw a circle that doesn't quite meet up, and that would still be an arc. Okay? But if I join those bits up, then I've got the whole circumference. And last but not least... Another line that we look at just touches the circle at one particular point, okay? And this is known as a tangent line. A tangent to the circle. So if you're required to draw a tangent line, just make sure that the line that you draw just brushes the circle at one point. It doesn't intersect it, okay, it's not a chord, it just touches the circle at one point. And make that very clear when you draw it. So these are the names of the special parts of the circle. You need to know what these are, and you need to be able to label a diagram with their correct names.